Greg, how are you today? Fine. So what time did you get up to start this? Well, I'll tell you, we met at 10 o'clock. Within 45 minutes, we had all of this cleaned up. Jane and that whole crew. And what a great time we had. You know what our problem is? Our problem isn't picking it up. I called the town of East Hampton and said, we got all this garbage on the side of the road. And they said, well, that's a state road. But the guy I spoke to, he was very good. He says, you know what, I'm going to call the state and have them come by and pick it up. Hence the problem out here. Town property, state property, whose job is it, et cetera, et cetera. But I think with all of us, what we're doing, we're going to finally get to the bottom of this. And uh, I think it'll be a great thing for the whole east end of Long Island. What do you think? I agree. And thank you for bringing the Litter Action Committee out here to work with all these folks in Montauk. And with the, regarding the state, we're going to see our state. We're going to see our state assemblyman, Fred Thiel. We've reached out to him because we need a more coordinated plan between the state and the town and more regular pickups. And I know that he is going to find a way to work with us so that we can, you know, have it. Because it's great for citizens to do this and all of us to give our time. But at the end of the day, our municipalities need to be taking care of the roads. They need to be picking up trash. They need to be taking care of our roads and highways. So we want to work with them and we're willing to put in the work to it. But we need the municipalities to help us. They absolutely yeah. have to step up because in the town, well, the hamlet of Montauk, the workers will not go over the railing. Yeah. They said, oh, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous to go. I'm 63 years old. <laughs> I go over the railing and I'm doing this for free. So I believe in outsourcing. I believe in time studies. I believe in opening the contracts and that's where the legislature has to come in. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to open this like a can of worms because a lot of people care about this town and they just, they don't know what to do. They're just so frustrated. Also, you know, there's this thing called the Adopt a Highway program and companies are allowed to put up their signs to say that they're taking care of things and they're doing it, but they're not cleaning up. They just put their signs up so they can look like they're good citizens but they also need to follow through and do what the program um, asks them to do, requires them to do. So we're gonna be working on making sure there's more accountability and more engagement of the people who really want to adopt a highway or adopt a road. And I think that will also give a lot more firepower to uh, our ability to keep things clean. And I think if we work together with the state, with the county, with the town, it could be a, a group effort. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the problem is almost too big for any one group or one constituency to do it. And so we do need to come together. We need to coordinate. Um, and because it's very hard to change the mindset of people who roll down their window and toss stuff out. You know, we're going to try. We're going to try and win over hearts and minds. But at the end of the day, we have to pick up after people, which is sad. But that's where we are. Thank God we got our state assemblyman, Fred yeah, Thiel. He's gonna... When you call his office, they get right back to you and they work with yeah, you. Yeah. No, we're really excited that we're going to go see him. We wrote to him in our new litter committee and he answered us immediately and set a time to come up and see him. I think it's week after next. And, you know, he's busy. He's in Albany. It's budget season and everything. But he knows this is a, a priority. I had a big problem with the, with the train station here in Montauk. It was absolutely filthy. I sent him a video of it. Within less than a week, Long Island Railroad, they came out and they cleaned that place up good. And it didn't take much. It really didn't. That's great. Thank you for doing that. Like, what, It's know, a team effort. It is a team effort. And that's the Litter Action Committee. There's only seven of us. And we're new at this. But as we're doing more of this, we're finding how many citizens put their time and effort into keeping their own roads clean, going out, cleaning up. It's really pretty amazing to see what people will do when they love a place and they respect it and they want to. A lot of people care, but they feel like they're alone. It's just right. them. And they, they just say, you know what? I can't do this. Right. But if they only knew how many people cared about this, I think we're going we're gonna to bring this garbage situation to fruition. We are.
We are indeed. And I think one of the, you know, doing these pickups is great because not only are we picking up garbage, but I, I think we hope that when people are driving by and they see us doing this, maybe they get inspired to clean up or maybe it sends them a message like they should add to the problem. But, you know, there's a visual element also to what we're doing. We're not doing this for show. We're doing this to keep places clean. Well, that's what but, I did, you know. Right, yeah. When I was picking it up, two, two people stopped by. How can I help? Yeah. And they, yeah. they just didn't say it. They showed up yeah, a couple showed. days later, and then it's starting to expand right. more and more. Exactly. I think when the warmer weather comes, more and more people will get into this. Right now, we're just getting into spring, right. yeah. especially in Montauk. You know, Montauk's kind of quiet, but we're going to stay on top of it. Yeah, and then when the busy season starts and there are more tourists and transient people and renters, you know, we are going to try and build more awareness with that community, right? Because if you're visiting here, then you have responsibility to the place as well. And we're gonna try and work with that whole community, with the hospitality community, with the resort community to try and build the message that their patrons and visitors, who we love because they're important to our economy, but they also need to um, understand that even if you're here for a weekend, you have to respect this. My place. pet peeve is these trucks that don't put covers on them. Yeah. On the way to the dumps, all the garbage is flying out all over the place. That's where a majority of this comes from. Now, to me, this is pretty scientific because the workers, the day traders, they'll buy stuff from all the local stores. They'll have a soda or something like that or water. And how long does it take to drink it before they wing it out the window? So it sounds crazy, but maybe the right side of the road may be more dirtier leaving town than the other side. I think we, we tend to find coffee cups mostly on the eastbound and we find more beer bottles on the westbound. Beer bottles. <laughs> what? Coffee on the way in. Yeah, oh, beer, on beer way bottles out. on the way out. And you know, right, you think you're just picking up garbage, but you're really saying, how did this get here? I figured out that the average throw is about 20, 25 feet, as you can see down there. Oh, yeah, 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 I brought a tape measure. So so you can figure out. Science. Well, some guys, I think, must have played baseball because you can see some of those cans w really winged out there. You know, and uh, we try to do this before all the buds start coming out and all the greenery. It's even harder. It's too so. bad we have so much bramble that it's hard for us to get. We need to bring clippers. So oh, I got them, battery away. charged ones. But I'll tell you. <laughs> we, we're trying to do this. We're on the right track, and it's going to happen. Yeah, so, it will. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Matt. Bye.